So, hey, man. It's been a week. It has. A very <laughs> slow week. Slow pop culture week. Yeah. Uh, a couple of big things, actually, we can probably talk quite a bit about. Well, the uh, first thing on everybody's mind. Oh, my God. Can you believe it? Alien Con. I mean. Wait. Is that this weekend? <laughs> no, no. The, the whole uh, Storm Area 51. Yeah. That, oh, yeah. That, oh, that whole yeah. thing I was, hap- happened over the weekend, over the last weekend. I think we talked to, we talked about it because it was the same day we, we were filming that happened. So I haven't seen much out of that, though. No. I, apparently, well, I mean, there was like thousands of people that showed up to that little alien inn. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think that's the closest civilization to... To Area 51. And there was like 100 people outside of the gate of Area 51. Probably and about a million cops in the military. Of course. Um, yeah, so about a million cops. Uh, well, no, actually, not even cops. It was just, um, I think it was... Men in black? Yeah. Bunch of... <laughs> that's why nobody remembers it. Yeah. Well, they, they must have got in and stole something because uh, of this right here. They must use some kind of mind control device and got Sony to finally let go of... They didn't let go. That tight grip they had. Well, they loosened their grip. Yeah, so apparently, I guess, uh, Sony and Disney are working for with the third installment or third film of Spider-Man or... With yeah. Tom, Tom Holland? With Tom yeah. Holland. Because, well, I mean, Tom Holland's still contractually obligated to do one more film. Yeah, so anyway. they're going to co-produce the third film. Yeah. And then uh, they're going to allow him one or two more appearances. Appearances, not movies based on him in yeah. MCU. Yeah. So Sony Sony actually brought Disney to, to their knees on this one. Yeah. That You don't see that often. Mark that in your books. Disney buckled. Yeah. It's, uh, that, it, you know, I mean, it's one of those things where it's two gigantic corporations fighting each other. Um and hey, don't forget, Sony's pretty big. Yes, I mean, that's about as big as you can get for a tech company. They make some small gaming platform. Yeah, but the Play Radin something? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it's you know, they're, they're but it's also Disney. Um, Disney pretty much, you know, kind of stuck, stuck their eye in. Um, they're kind of stuck their eye in. The uh, Sony's or stuck their thumb in Sony's eye, and and Sony didn't like it, and he's like, "Fine, we just won't do it." Yeah, you know what? Hey, uh, you, you can't pressure me. We have a solid. Uh, I'm you taking know, my marbles and going home. Yeah, pretty much. For do people play marbles anymore? No, I don't <laughs> even think people know what marbles are. Maybe virtual marbles. So I'm guessing know. you lost your marbles. Is there an app you can play called Marbles? I would, I would imagine. <laughs> so yeah, I think Sony. Um, Sony was like, "Fine," but I, I. I so, this is also what I read: is Sony's gonna. This is gonna be the most expensive Spider-Man movie ever. The co-produced one. The co-produced one, because they said, "Fine, if you're gonna split half the uh, production cost, <laughs> they, they're the they, kick-ass Spider-Man it's movie gonna for be, half it, price." Exactly, you know. And um, so, I, I, I rumored 250 million dollars is the budget for this this movie. It's gonna probably be a lot of CGI. Spider-Man. They they barely scratched the surface of his villains. Yeah. Anyway, I mean, we haven't seen the Goblin yet. We haven't seen and, uh, that's, Doc Ock. So, well, that, apparently the go- Green Goblin is supposed to be in the next one. Maybe they're going to bring in the Sinister Six, because then you'll get Rhino, the real Rhino, not... Uh, not uh, Paul Giamatti? <laughs> Paul Giamatti in, in some painter stilts with a little bit of armor around him. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that but, was... Uh, don't get me wrong. I love Paul Giamatti. He's a great actor. But not a, not this Rhino. Dude, he's not Rhino. No. Even if you put him in an armor suit, he's not. I mean, don't right. get me wrong. That armor's a little cool. It just, it was like out of nowhere, though. Where are you guys it, going with this? Yeah. Come on, Sony. Well, it is what it is. Yeah. Well, well, let's see. Let's see. I mean, I'm all for it because I, it's not like I'm making any of this money. So, um, <laughs> you know, if they want to spend a quarter billion dollars to make one movie, so, you know. But I, if they don't put in Green Goblin, I think they, they missed out a chance. He's the... the and if they don't use... Um, oh, God, what's his name? The classic Goblin. Um, oh, God, what's his what, name? The actor? Yeah. William Dafoe? William Dafoe. 
Wait, 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 Willem. Was, Willem Dafoe was the best I Green think Goblin it's, ever. No, it's not William. I think it's Willem. Willem Dafoe. Dude, he doesn't even need a mask. He's it's, just... It's so great. He's a scary dude. I heard, I heard uh, he was actually one of the persons in running for the, the Joker movie. I can see him as Joker, I can too. See him as Joker. He's got that. He's just got that villainous face. Yeah. It's good when you have a a, a, a a villainous face in Hollywood. Even when he plays a good guy, you look at him and go, no, he's, he's going to turn on him. He's going to turn bad. When's the last time he played a good guy? John Wick. He was kind of good. Eh. Uh, or uh, um, Boondock, Boondock Saints. He, yeah. was, uh, he, was a, he was a detective, but he wasn't Any really of those good. John Clancy movies he was in? Yeah, he played I guess it wasn't One bad. of the good guys. John, was it John Clark you played? Yeah. Anyway, yeah, Willem Dafoe, made to be a bad guy. Good, good bad guy. I like him <laughs> as a bad guy. So yeah, hopefully they'll bring in a bunch of those classic Spider-Man villains instead of him being a sidekick or fighting the same villain every movie. Yeah, I mean, I really like um, how they they portrayed. Um, oh God, no, that's the, the one that just came out. Tom Holland. Oh, from uh, Far From Home. Yeah. How they portrayed who? The, the villain. Um, Mysterio. Mysterio. Yeah. And I, I like that twist I, on I it. I like that twist I'm on it. I'm good with that. I'm good with that, yeah. You, 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 and I love Jake Gyllenhaal. I, 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 I kind of want to see people cosplay as the, um, n- not <laughs> as Mysterio, but as the uh, the, the gray suit with all the, the, with all the stuff with all on the it. crap on it. Yeah, I, I would love to see that. I, I'm, I'm waiting good. to see my first Night Monkey <laughs> costume. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm, I'm pretty sure there's already out there. Yeah, you know it's coming. Yeah. Uh, so another Sony thing, Madam Web movie. Yeah, another Spider-Man related thing. I, they must have rights to Spider-Man and the whole Spider universe. Yeah, because uh, Madam Web is part of the Spider-Man universe. She's. I, I don't know how, what I think about a movie with her. It's going to be kind of like. Um, is it going to be like animated or like Minority re- Report? No, it's supposedly going to be live action. She is kind of a precog. Her, that's her ability. She's crip, she's handicapped. Yeah. And uh, she can't walk. She's blind, but she can see the future and kind of divine things. And uh, I just don't know that I would watch a whole movie with just that. Going well, on. I mean, that's not that fair to say because people also didn't think that Guardians of the Galaxy is like, who are these people? Yeah, I guess that maybe what is what is Groot? You know, maybe, maybe they'll jazz her up and bring in some uh, some, some other, other characters ones, too. Yeah. Some, some I just don't know characters. if I want to. That'd be just like watching Minority Report over again. In my mind, I, but, I mean, Minority Report came out like twenty years ago. So. Yeah, it was a good movie too. <laughs> maybe I'm wrong. So yeah, uh, Madam Web, uh, look her up. She's another mutant, um, Spider-Man related. Sony's pushing this one out. So. Well, I mean, the, the, the rise of um, comic book movie characters, especially after Endgame, they're trying to milk that cow as much as, as the, anything that Marvel has. I mean, they were, they were putting, they, oh, God, what movie that they're going to bring out that there's, like, nobody knows who these people are. Oh, that was Guardians of the Galaxy. That, but, yeah, but, <laughs> but there's another one coming out, same thing. Um, there was new warriors. Um, yeah, I mean, new um, titans. Uh, there's so, new there's mutants. So, there's so, I think was another one. There's so many right now. So yeah, I think they're they're trying to do that whole Guardians of the Galaxy thing again, where they bring in obscure characters and make them mainstream. But they have to make it funny. They have to have a good comedic well, twist to them because if Marvel, it's all like, ser- but if it's all like serious. Then it's that, like, that's Marvel's recipe, yeah. though. It the, the little humor, little action, good CGI, but it works. Yeah, and. and I mean, and DC, uh, we're just going to make it dark and brooding. Yeah. <laughs> Good movie. Nobody's watching it. The box office is the problem. Right. No, nobody wants to be that depressed when they leave. <laughs> um, but also, um, like, uh, when uh, YTT uh, redid the Thor uh, movies. Yeah. Because, I mean, the first couple of Thor movies were kind of stinkers. They, they were... They were slow. They were slow. They were a little... They, were, they weren't as personable, but... Yeah, and not, then, not bad, but they were But slow. when it more became of... He kind of realized his comedic... When they let him start being funny, funny instead of just... It just... Like, Ragnarok was freaking hilarious. I loved Ragnarok. Well, he, he had splashes of it here and there. Yeah. You know, when he was drinking and... Yeah, yeah. The cup. Another one! Yeah. Uh, yeah, but it's... Uh, I think... I think DC's got a. I mean, that's why uh, Shazam did so well because it had a lot of comedic. I loved Shazam. Yeah, Shazam was such a good movie. Um, you know, because I mean, you have this kid, but it's more of a comedic kind of movie. You you, you want to be entertained, and entertaining is also laughing. And if you're laughing and having a good time, then it's hard to say that was a yeah, bad movie. It had some good action. The CGI was good. 
Yeah, I mean, yeah. like, there was nothing like Batman versus Superman or Superman, um, um, Man <laughs> of Steel, or, uh, you know, uh, th- those were all, well, like, really Justice serious. League, they, they pulled in a little more comedy. Yeah, with The yeah. Flash, you know, yeah. uh, he had a couple good, bit, but, oh, I mean, it was a lot of, good yeah, but it wasn't, you have to, there's a lot of action, but you have to kind of balance it, because if it's just all action, 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 you might as well see Rambo yeah. Last Blood. I'm, <laughs> that's That's what I hear. Yeah. Yeah, because Rambo Last Blood, I heard, tanked at the Brock's office. It, it's just an excuse for him to kill 50 people. I'm telling you, in an hour it, and was, a half. it was. Like I said, I told you, I was. I'm a huge Rambo fan, and I, I, you know, it's gone to the point where this is the first, not apparently, the non-political Rambo. It's Rambo the cash grab. Yeah, it's uh, you know he's in his 70s, and it's uh, it's a whole it's a whole thing with the uh, Rambo Last Blood, but yeah, it's a. Uh, I heard that that was a. Uh, pretty yeah bad movie and and still on the spider-man thing yeah black cat spider-man by uh they're and in black cat annual number one they're supposed to get married oh yeah you were telling me yeah the black, black cat supposedly <sighs> is also dating around like in the episode right before this she was dating uh um johnny from fantastic four so i don't chris know evans. yeah she was dating chris evans <laughs> <laughs> or Michael B. Jordan, depending on yeah, which well, Fantastic yeah, Four you watch. Exactly. Uh, the good one. Wait a minute, which one's that? Uh, yeah, so they're going to get married. Black Cat, Spider-Man, they've been a, a thing around for a while. Yeah, who is Black it, Cat? Um, Felicia Hardy. Felicia Hardy, yeah. She, I don't, th- well, what in the beginning she? she didn't have superpowers. Now she kind of does, so... You hang out with the wrong people, you'll, yeah. you'll, get, you'll get infected with those superpowers. <laughs> Damn it. Where are they? Because I want to hang out exactly, with them. Exactly. It's like cooties. You know? I've, been try- I've been getting bit by all kinds of spiders. Exactly. Just not doing he just has strokes every now and then. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you get bit by a radioactive dog. Exactly. You'd become a... <laughs> You'd be barf from Spaceballs. <laughs> <laughs> and for the kids who don't Ooh, know what space balls are, yeah. Yeah. Google barf. Space we'll, put, balls. we'll put a picture right here. If not, if we have the. Uh, the so time. yeah, they're getting married. MJ's uh, out of the picture. Um, didn't she die? Ah, uh, well, the, yes and no, whatever universe. But she's oh, around okay. now. Last I saw, she was with Tony Stark. I, she's never been one of my favorite characters. Um. And J.J., I guess it can't be spoilers now, it's been a couple of weeks. And the J.J. Abrams Spider-Man, that's who gets killed. Mm-hmm. Cadaverous puts his... Uh, but it, it, well, also, uh, in the um, the last movie, not with Tom Harden, didn't Mary Jane die? Like, he, he didn't catch her... Gwen like, Stacy. Oh, that, Gwen Stacy, that's right. Because I mean, Gwen Stacy became in a different universe um, she's spider gwen in a different universe, yeah, yeah spider gwen yeah yeah gwen stacy was always hit, like his first love that the goblin dropped off the bridge yeah he couldn't save he, her enough time he, he caught her but the the force of her stopping snapped her neck yeah yeah so they're getting married huh yeah yeah all right, well i wasn't invited to the wedding how so. dare they uh i think wait 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 hold on i'm reading this yeah. is this true didn't we just talk about this last we week? we did yes we did like a new show coming out about Ghost Rider about on the Hulu. on yeah, Hulu about that a series that, that Ghost Rider that was on Shield uh huh and b- the one Diego with the car Luna, I think it was the which yeah. I didn't care for the Hell Charger you're saying it got canceled already I, I just read this morning yeah oh guess what it's canceled <laughs> like, damn it Hulu you guys put some garbage out there why don't you give this one a shot I don't know I'm still waiting for um, what was that one that we reviewed um, the entire season. Of uh, uh, <laughs> Doom Patrol? No, not Doom Patrol. On Hulu, it was a uh, oh god, a lot of male nudity, time travel. Did uh, we we reviewed one of those? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Altered Carbon? I, we no, no, the, the 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 young kid from uh, oh the comedy one. Yeah, yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. I can't think of the name yeah, right exactly. now. Yeah, exactly. I'm waiting. I'll figure it out later and put it. I'm waiting later. for that one to come back. Yeah. The third season. Yeah. With the wolf. Oh, God, I can't wait. <laughs> the, Dude, we to really stress. Uh, that, we're, we're, we're kind of getting off the rails. Need some stress. So apparently that one got canceled. Did they give a reason why, or there was just not enough interest? Uh, just like anything else, they probably didn't get the sponsorship they wanted out of it. Yeah. Uh, you know, these big corporations probably didn't pay to. You think Dodge would have jumped on that big time he drives maybe, maybe, maybe they did but maybe that was the only one maybe they they were the only one everybody was like yeah no yeah no it's like the the, the ghostbusters one or yeah. the ghost rider or the ghost rider one maybe the the charcoal people could have got in on it 
I'm lighting kidding. the fire. Oh, I got you. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, sponsored by Kingsford. Yeah. <laughs> See, yeah, I, I, we are not sponsored by Kingsford. I don't know that that's what it is, but typically when something gets canceled, it's because it's not making enough money for them. But it is Hulu. So, um, th- technically, there. Um, if you pay for the, if you pay extra, I you think can, it's like twelve dollars a month. You can watch them without commercial. Pro- without commercial. But th- aren't there commercials between episodes or episodes that you watch? No, nope. no. Nope. I didn't pay for Hulu, so I don't know. I know. <laughs> Wait, aren't you stealing it off mine? I, I haven't watched anything on Hulu in a long time. I paid like a dollar a month. They had that special last year oh, in yeah. November. I just like, got to get my Disney Plus. I signed up for my Disney Plus. I, I keep looking at it. I'm like, yeah, I got to remember to but do now, that. But now it's like only six ninety nine because I was stupid and didn't get the three-year advance for 140 bucks, And people were spending like $3 a month now. But I heard, I heard some... So, uh, you know, this might be the whole Disney thing about there might be cooking the books on their parks. Making so, it seem better or worse. Making it seem that they're doing better than they actually are. Um, so now they're I see a now, lot of now, pictures now, of Galaxy's Edge, and I don't see a lot of lines. Yeah, uh, well, they say, I heard uh, you know that Galaxy's Edge was kind of a bust because, look, if you've been to Galaxy's Edge, I haven't yet, but I want to go. Uh, what do you think about Star Wars, right? What, what do you think? You think Han Solo. Chewbacca, the original Storm trilogies, the first that's exactly. what I grew up with. Exactly, original trilogies, even even if even the new trilogies, right? Even, even if Darth the prequels, Maul right? Kylo, but yeah. no, what they did is they made a whole subsection, which actually I collect the comics uh, from here Galaxy my, Edge, yeah. from Galaxy's Edge, and it's a different it's a different story altogether. So so a person going in there, a big Star Wars fan like I am, I wouldn't actually know the story unless I read up about it and stuff like that, which is, you know, fine because, you know, with EU and stuff like that, people do read up on stuff like that. But there's no really characters that you'll recognize. Not like if you go to a 501st event, you'll know these characters, like so Darth Vader and stuff like that. Introducing you to these characters at the park and expecting you to connect with them immediately. With immediately, but the problem is that these there's no characters... Around there's not even an R two D two. They don't have any dressed characters nope. walking around the park. They, 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 okay, let me phrase. Uh, they do have some dressed characters, but th- these characters are from the new storyline. There, there are some star uh, stormtroopers. Yeah, I think they um, missed the boat on that one. Yeah, there are some stormtroopers. I think I saw a Chewbacca, but I, it might not have been Chewbacca. It might have just been a, like a Wookiee that ran with generic the, Wookie. a generic Wookiee. Um, but it looked like Chewbacca. But still, so. You'll see like these people dressed up in, like vests and stuff like that, and they're like, "Oh, follow me to the resistance." And it's like, I don't even know who the hell you are. I, I wanted to get a soda. Yeah. <laughs> Does the resistance have coke? Yeah. So it's just, I think they really missed the mark on that one. I think, I think what people, you know, it's it's all comes back down to nostalgia. People want to see Han Solo and Princess Leia and stuff like that walking around because they want to take pictures with it. But if you're just walking around just to look at, at the Millennium Falcon, which is cool, don't get me wrong, I still want to see it. I still want to ride the ride. Um, they uh, apparently what they're doing is um, um, so they're cooking the books, kind of. As in, what they're doing is, um, say for example, you get one of those prepaid Disney uh, cards. Mm-hmm. Uh, so what they're doing is they're, they're double dipping. They're saying, and this is of course speculation. Uh, Disney, don't sue me. Um, so, so <laughs> somebody would pay a hundred dollar prepaid card because you get like ten percent off if you prepay. And then, so what they'll do is they take, say, the, okay, now we spend, now we got a hundred dollars for the card. Okay, and then they spend that card in the in the parks. And they're counted again. And they're counted again. And you're talking about hundreds of millions of dollars. Wow, yeah. that's a. Uh... Well, they got to show something to the stockholders so the stockholders don't. But the thing is, it, the but is it, it is a stockholder. So now uh, this law, this um, this firm is actually um, suing Disney to open up their books in in the name of the stockholders. Ooh. So yeah, and and now right now they are actually pushing really hard. So if you've actually, if you, I don't know uh, what kind of advertising we have on here beforehand, but um, if you've been watching any kind of YouTube lately, you'll be, you'll actually been seeing some Galaxy's Edge commercials. Uh, they are ramping up the Galaxy's Edge, which is, but you have to also understand that 
you can't keep on raising prices. You raise prices twice in one year, and and then expect and then like Galaxy's Edge is still not finished. They still have two more rides to put in. Right. So, I don't know. I I'm 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 not going until next August anyway. So yeah, I hope they have it sorted out by then because I, the pictures I've seen from people's Facebooks, it looks cool. Yeah, I mean, don't get it me looks wrong. Like they're having fun, but like I said, I don't see a crowd of people behind them in their selfies. Yeah. They never say, oh, I had to wait three hours in line. Yeah. Yeah, so, no, like the, they said, uh, average time of wait in line is about an hour, hour and 15. Right. But for a Disney line, that's like nothing. I, I remember at Disney, if you don't have the Fast Pass or, or a VIP, yeah. you, you're, can, you're there. you can stay there all day and maybe ride two rides. Yep. You spend the rest of that time in line. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, uh, I, like I said, I still want to go. And um, if it's, hopefully it's going to be busier next year. You want to skip over to this one? Yeah. Have uh, you seen the new trailer yet? I have. El Camino. It literally, it's from uh, the trailer, st- from the last day. Of Breaking Bad. Of Breaking Bad to the next day is when he, because you have to understand, look, spoilers on Breaking Bad, it's six years ago. Go watch it. If not, pause this skip over to the last part because i think we'll be talking about this um uh so walter white dies at the end but he also kills like nine people um with them with a some with a machine gun out of his trunk attached to a garage door awesome car. scene yeah. yeah um and jesse escapes in a El Camino. El Camino. so police are looking for him and then he goes to yeah. skinny pete's house yeah because if you haven't watched breaking bad yet the drug cartel had Kidnapped Jesse. And yeah, was, he was making him make him a slave, basically. Pretty to make much, meth. yeah, yeah. Because he knew the recipe for the the blue meth that Walter made. Yep. And uh, yeah, Jesse was in bad shape. Yeah, beat and, up. I think was he chained? I can't remember, but he was he was a slave. He couldn't get away. Yeah, I think they chained his ankle. Yeah. Yeah. And then Walter came and kind of yeah rescued him. Kind of rescued him, yeah. And he, like I said, it, it, and I think I, I don't think her. I don't think. Uh, like he got like Walter White got killed with bullets. I think he just died. Um, um, it, it, it makes uh, it a little ambiguous at the end. So you yeah. Don't well, really... I mean, I know that he did pass away because I mean, um, he, you know, the cancer was kind of taking over him. Something yeah, like that, there was. So. He did have the cancer too. Yeah, the cancer. He, he yeah. caught the cancer. He caught the cancer. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it's gonna be a good movie. I think. Uh, you're not. I, I think. Well, um, there's a lot of back and forth. Okay. Um, in, in the timelines. In the in the. Um, in the commercial, um, but so if they're going to do a lot of back and forth, um, I think they might do um, Walter White as a flashback. Yeah, you'll probably get a lot of flashback scenes. So a lot you'll of probably Brian see Cranston, a lot of the old. But it's only characters. it's a but here's the thing it's all, it's a Netflix exclusive movie, so right. you're not going to be able to see this on AMC or anything. Uh, so because uh, Netflix uh, bought the rights uh, to to play it. Yeah, they didn't buy the rights for Breaking Bad. They just bought the rights to play it. Yeah. And then they said, hey, we want to make a movie since we own the rights uh, to play it out right now. Yeah, that's that's going to be pretty interesting yeah, to kind of see. It looks um, really good. It looks really good. I, I'm, I'm kind of excited for it. But Jesse Pinkman was one of my favorite characters on there. Yeah, Magnets, bitch. <laughs> he was <laughs> he was only supposed to be in that one episode. Yeah. But he and, tested so well with yeah. the audiences. They Because, they because it, every, you know what they said is everybody has that one friend. Yeah, 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 I guess that's true. He yeah. he is that friend. He is that friend. He's like, oh god, this guy. Yeah, it's uh, it, that's gonna be kind of excited. I, I I'm pretty excited. I think it's coming out October eighth. I think so. Something like that. Yeah. Well, um, you know, you see Stinky Pete. Yeah, Stinky Pete. You also see. Uh, oh no, Skinny Pete. Oh, Skinny Pete. Uh, yeah, you but also, he stinks too. Uh, you see Badger. Um, yeah. Uh, you see. Um, uh, you hear the, the everybody was speculating. Uh, it was like a Wild West scene at the end. Not really Wild West, but like. Um, it might be the guy who disappears. Um, the DEA agent guy. Yeah. Uh, Dean. I can't. I can't remember his real name. Dean yeah. Hagland or something like that. So yeah, there's a lot of reprise, like but yeah. um, and so that's why I guess um, I guess that's why uh, Better Call Saul skipped uh, a season because they went from season four or season three and they skipped a year. So we're, we're waiting for season four to come out. Yeah. Well, even um, the guy who plays Saul, uh, Bob Odenkirk. Bob Odenkirk. Yeah. He even said, "Yeah, you, you know, we hall. skipped that season because we we're making the movie. I thought you guys knew." And everybody's like, uh, uh, <laughs> "No." So yeah, so maybe Saul's gonna be in it, and Mike. I would imagine. That, uh, well, Mike Mike's can't, another one of my favorite. Well, characters. Mike can't be in it. Why not? Well, he, he got killed. 
But if it's a flashback. Oh yeah, no, yeah, yeah, Lord of Rings, yeah, if it, yeah, not like in the in the yeah, the no, actual, not as a recurring thing, not a recurring but as a flashback. Thing, yeah. Because I mean, if you want to see Mike, just watch Better Call Saul because he's he's a recurring character in Better Call it's, Saul. Yeah, and that's another great series. Oh, it's such a good. That's what uh, I said. I've been waiting for it to come back on um, on. Uh, uh, what channel is it on? Is it FX? No, it's AMC. Is it AMC also? Yeah, yeah it's yeah. still Breaking Bad, so it's still the, it's still the same universe. Uh, let's see what else came out this week. Uh, well, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia came back out this week, so I'm happy about that. I've watched like the first season of that. You need you need to get past you need to get past the first couple seasons until they go to widescreen. It's it's until Danny DeVito gets his. Well, spot. well, the Danny DeVito comes in the last last episode of the first season. Oh, does he? Yep. Then maybe I haven't seen the whole first no. season. You just I just have to. Get, it's like. Taking your medicine, man. Just have to yeah, have to get through it. Don't give me the. It's not been bad. It's just been kind of. Not your kind of thing. It's just been kind of a, a slow. It gets so much better. It's so the humor it's is so kind of hit or miss a lot of times. And it's so good. I think my favorite is when they were selling. They, they turned the bar into an underage hangout. <laughs> it's so good. It's what are they like 12, 13 seasons now? Yeah, they're, they're they're, um, um, I know. No, nine seasons. Uh, is no. that it? Wait, no. Was it 14? No, I think it's only nine seasons because huh. I know they were saying that it's it's a thing you, you should you should really watch it because it's, it's funny and but it's a kind of stupid kind of funny. Uh, this ain't no Breaking Bad, okay? There ain't no thinking in this one. This is just stupid comedy. It's just think laugh without thinking. At least that's what I've seen in the first season. Pretty much, but I think that's it. I, we we kind of spanned a lot on on this week, uh, even though we didn't have a lot to go with. But what do you guys think? Comment down below, and while you're down there, give us that like button, and hit that subscribe, and while you're doing that subscribing thing, right next to that little bell icon. It's so loud every yep. time. Uh, it'd be greatly appreciated. We're on our way to 10 million subs soon. Every day we get closer. Every day. Every day we're shot. But just go ahead and subscribe so you too know what's going on this week. My name is Patrick with Talk Nerdy to Me. I'm Troy also with Talk Nerdy to Me. We'll see you nerds next week. Later nerds. Bye. Get nerdy with me. Tell me what game that you get on. Is it card or What kind of class do you play, girl? In an RPG.